Lesson 11.1, areas of polygons. So we start simple with a postulate. The area of a square is a square of the length of a side, hence the reason we call it a square. Simple enough. I know it's a square. And one side is six, then the area is six squared. Now a lot of people have been taught and in a good way, that they need to put 36 units squared. We're going to avoid that for the time being. Keep it in your mind. We're just going to work on the numbers. And it's not because it's not correct, and it's mostly because we're lazy. Just want to keep self, something simple. Simple. Uh, postulate 18, if two figures are congruent. which they're not, but let's imagine they are. If they're congruent, then they have the same area. And this leads to a question. A lot of my students, when I teach this in class, look at me and say, are you serious with this stuff? And uh, yeah, we got to walk before we can crawl. Just because you've been trained up all year and you really know what you're doing doesn't mean now that we move into area, we don't start with some basics we're dealing with a postulate for area because we've never done area before not in this class so a square unit in area is really foreign to us so we go back to a postulate now postulate 18 is congruent area is the same And the converse would be, is the area the same? Then it would be congruent. I'd like you to think about that for a second. If the areas of two things are the same, are they going to be congruent? And the answer, of course, is no. Two things could have the same area, and they could look totally different. I have a rectangle with area 16. Which is 2 by 8. If you have a rectangle of area 16, that's 1 by 16. And these would have the same area, but they would be not congruent. So, this is a trick I like to teach for the ACT. You have a region that's kind of hard to figure out. And then another region. They say, find the area for this. And you say, oh, I have no idea how to do that. Well, what I suggest is you break it up into smaller pieces that you can calculate. For example, you might look at this and say, this whole area is a triangle. So I can figure that out. Say this is area one, and I can figure out this triangle. I'll call this area two. Then I can figure out this trapezoid looking kind of shape. And I can stop and say, oh, so total area A sub T. This means add area A1. Subtract out area A2 and add area A3. So you can add or subtract areas. It's kind of like the addition postulate, the segment addition postulate, the angle addition postulate. Same idea. Area of a rectangle, wildly complicated stuff. Base times height. We write area equals base times height. This was 3. And this was 7 root 5. Some goofy number like that. Area would equal 3 times 7 root 5. 21 root 5. 
I warn you, we can make very complicated problems with this. As long as you know the basics, you'll be fine. And finally, what's perimeter? Distance around the outside. That's perimeter. You'll get lots of problems on that. Lots of Pythagorean theorems, figure out what all the sides are, then add them up, and that's perimeter, things like that. Great way to start. Simple stuff. Good luck.